Hello everyone. I'm getting ready to make myself something to eat. I just thought I'd have you join me. It's it's something I make all the time. It's chicken and rice, and I've just got I've just got everything down packed. I know exactly how to do it. Um, I used to make these big batches of chicken and rice, and it was for like several people, like a whole big batch, and I used to put the refrigerator and all this. But I don't do that anymore because um, these days I eat a lot less. And uh, so what I'm doing is I'm just using a, a single chicken breast here. I've already started opening it and then I realized I may as well make a video while I'm doing it. <laughs> so uh, it's a, I've got, when I went down to the grocery store, they had a sale on chicken, $1.99 a pound. And so I bought a bunch of it and brought it back and then I've put one chicken breast in each uh, bag. So uh, the first thing I do, this is just something I have just kind of recently started doing. Sometimes things can stick to the bottom of this Instant Pot. Um, you know, so, anyway, it's just happened. I won't go into how it happens, but sometimes things will stick to the bottom. So what I've started doing is I've started taking some butter and um, greasing the bottom of my Instant Pot. Now you probably think I'm crazy, or you probably think, well, why, why don't you get, just get some of that spray and do it? Because that spray, there's no telling what's in that spray. And, you know, there's, there's so much, um, you know, there's different gases in there. And I, I just, I'm just, I'm very suspicious of things nowadays. So I'm just using good old fashioned butter. And let me get, I'm going to do the, I got the bottom and let me just do just, just a little bit of the upper edge. Also, when you go to, to clean the dish, um, you know, stuff that's stuck on there, just, you know, you have to scrub it with, uh, you know, one of these Brillo pads. So that's my first step, all right? So I put that in there. And then I'm gonna be making rice with this. So the rice, uh, I always put butter in my rice. This is actually a, a fairly new pan I got, isn't it nice? So I take that same butter I was just using and um, of course it's all deformed now that I uh, was rubbing it on the bottom of that pan. So, so this is the piece of butter. So I'll put that in here and after my chicken is finished, I'll already have my butter in there ready to go. And then when I cook, uh, the way I'm gonna make this rice is I know I'm gonna uh, use one cup of rice. Let me get two cups of water. I have one of these fancy refrigerators that doles out the water when you put it right up here, it measures it too. So I've got my water there, I'm gonna put that in momentarily. This is the divot. This is the thing you put in to keep the piece of chicken up off of the bottom. And then I will take my chicken right out of here. And it's so easy to get this chicken out because it was used, you know, put in the vacuum seal bag. So I just peel it basically. I don't even have to get my hands wet with, with chicken juice. There's a chicken right here on my divot. So just pop that in here. And then I take my water, pour it in there. My purified water from the refrigerator. And then the rice is going to need some salt. So for one cup of rice, I use a half a teaspoon of salt. So that's kind of like, that's kind of like this. Not a full teaspoon. It'll be too salty, you won't, you won't like it. Put it right in there on the bottom. Just a matter of putting the lid on there and cooking it a long time. These chicken breasts are, or modern day chicken breasts are huge, first of all. I put it an hour and 10 minutes at maximum pressure. You've probably already noticed this bug zapper thing right here. Now you might think I'm just kind of overdoing it. Well, they had one of these on sale uh, at Amazon for real cheap, I think it was like $20 or something. I was looking for a something to give my neighbors across the street uh, for Christmas, right? And 
I knew they had recently built this, I guess it's kind of like a pavilion or something in their backyard. Somebody at one point mentioned that there was flies around there, wouldn't it be good to get rid of the flies or whatever. So that's, I was gonna get it for them. So uh, some time passed and I was in my office and there was this fly coming around and I couldn't get rid of him. Like I would go get the flash water and you know, try to get him and I just couldn't seem to get him. It was just kind of irritating and I said, you know what, I've got that thing. I've got that bug zapper. I'm just gonna give it a shot. And I'll just use it the one time and put it back in the box and nobody will ever even know I used it just to get rid of this one fly, right? So I took it out and you know, the, the bulbs were already in it and everything. I just, all I had to do was just plug it up and turn it on. So I did that and that, in short order, that fly went, bzzz, you know, got zapped. I was like, God, that is so easy. So I just kind of left it on, and um, during the night, I heard another like, bzzz. And uh, so as the days went on, more and more things got zapped. And I mean, we're talking about mosquitoes, gnats, and flies. And I, then I realized how useful it was, because I was getting, because you know, I have to open the door to let the dog out. And I do that several times a day and every now and then something will get in. I've just left it on. And especially in here, the kitchen, because uh, in the kitchen you're cooking and I guess the flies can smell the food, I guess. And uh, so they come in here and of course they get zapped. But, um, but it's actually been pretty useful. So I'm gonna leave it running while I'm here. And then when I go camping, I'm gonna take it with me, especially camping, trust me. Okay, it's been an hour and 10 minutes. I am now opening the Instant Pot, and it smells good. So the first step is I gotta get this chicken out of here, and that should be pretty easy. All right, the chicken is out. This, of course, is my pot that has a piece of butter in it. So I need to transfer the broth, which is a nice, clear broth, you can see. There we go. Transfer the broth right into here. Notice nothing stuck to the bottom. Then I'm going to add some black pepper. Okay, it's a good amount. I wanted to have a definite uh, pepper taste to it. All right, so we just set that here on the stove, and I'm going to turn that on high. So we will. Now shred our chicken up a little bit. It's too hot to touch, so. Um, and because it's been pressure cooked, it should, you can see it's coming apart pretty easy. There. That's a good amount of chicken. I usually won't even eat all of it, actually in my chicken and rice. I won't even eat the entire breast. Um, probably eat like half of it. So I get it all nice and shredded up. How does that look? So now we just put that chicken in here. And I'm not going to waste this, this plate right here. I'm going to actually eat out of this plate when, uh, when it's all said and done. We're just waiting for this to heat up a little bit. So the, the butter's already melted. Um, the pepper is now getting stirred around. And remember the salt was already in the broth. And if you put the lid on it, it will help it warm up faster and, and it needs to reach a boil. 
So it's boiling. You see that? So we will now get uh, one cup of rice. <laughs> and this is the fancy measuring cup I have. This is the coffee cup. So just pour that in there. Stir it around just a little bit. There we go. I usually wait for it to have kind of a, a vigorous boil. Okay, so you see it's boiling pretty well there. And then what I do is I turn the, uh, the heat down to the lowest setting, which is melt. And then I put my timer on 20 minutes and then start. And then I come back in 20 minutes. Well, the timer went off. And so it looks like our rice is ready. what it looks like. So this is my dinner. Just let me get myself some. Let me show it to you. Doesn't that look good? That's a big, big helping there. And nothing goes with chicken and rice as well as uh, crackers. Look at all that food. It's pretty much all I've had. All I will have had today, though. Mm hmm, that's good. Not enough pepper. So, put just a little bit more. Thanks for joining me. I hope that was fun watching me make dinner. Mm -hmm. And. I'm gonna go eat this. Show me again sometime. <laughs>